So in this video we're going to find the moment generating function of the uniform distribution. Now the uniform distribution is a continuous distribution. Now for evaluating a random variable in the uniform distribution we have our PDF which is our function of x given two parameters a and b. And this PDF is 1 over b minus a. Now our parameters for this are that b is always greater than a. So b is greater than a. Or x is evaluated in between b and a. So b is greater than x which is greater than a. That's our uniform distribution. This here is our PDF. So that's our uniform distribution. OK, now B and A can take any value. They can be negative, positive, whatever range we want them to be. So now we need to find the moment generating function from this information. So we established that this is a continuous distribution. So we start off with our notation. So mx of t, that's our parameter. This is calculated now by integrating. So our range of our PDF is from B to A. Now B is the upper range. So B is our upper integration parameter and A is the lower integration parameter. And then we multiply that by the PDF or we insert the PDF inside the integrand, so that's 1 over b minus a, and then we multiply that by e to the tx. And that's how we calculate our moment generating function for continuous distributions, and it's integrated with regards to x, not the parameters. OK, so what we do now, just go through the integration, and that's going to give us our answer to our moment generating function. So how do we integrate this? Well, 1 over b minus a is not included in x, so that can come out of the front. So let's do that. So 1 over b minus a, and then a to b, e to the tx, dx. OK, well, we can now integrate this straight off from there with this as a constant multiple. So let's do that. So 1 over b minus a. And then the integral of e to the tx is 1 over t, e to the tx. So I'm going to write that as e to the tx over t. And that's from a to b. OK, so now wherever we see an x, we'll plug in a b and subtract the value when x is a. So let's do that. So I'll write 1 over b minus a. Now this t on the bottom, we can bring this out to the front because that's not to do with our x. So let's bring this t out here. So what we can do is, if we bracket this and write t like that. So 1 over t times b minus a in brackets. And now let's evaluate this at b. So now we'll open a bracket. So where we see x, we plug in a b. So e to the tb. And then we subtract the value when x is a. So that's minus e to the t a. OK. So now we can uh, submit an answer now for our moment generating function. So now we'll say our moment generating function with parameter t. This is, so our, we could write this all as a fraction, put this in our numerator, this in our denominator. So we can say e to the t b minus e to the ta divided by t times b minus a. And that is our answer for our moment generating function of the uniform distribution. Okay.